everyone and welcome to today's lesson which is going to be following on very closely from yesterday at measuring mass except this time it's going to be uh, between kilograms okay between kilograms so as you can see here <clears throat> we have our one kilogram and we have our two kilograms now you've got to remember yesterday we said that one kilogram is the same as 1000 grams and so therefore two kilograms will be the same as two thousand grams okay but we can treat this number line in exactly the same way that we did yesterday okay so what we can do is just counting up in hundreds until we get there because obviously this would be one kilogram and 100 this would be one kilogram and 200 this would be one kilogram 300 this one would be 400 this one would be 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and then the next one would be 2,000 grams. So obviously it'd be go, it'd be a thousand plus a hundred, so it'd be 1,100. 1,200 grams, 1,300 grams, 1,400 grams. 1,500 grams and so on okay so what how would we say this we would say that we have one kilogram and 100 grams or we'd say one kilogram and 700 grams one kilogram and 900 grams okay so remember we still need to make sure that our intervals are the same and that there is an equal amount of numbers between them and that it makes sense okay so for the mass that is measured at the other row, it is one kilogram and 200 grams. So we'd say that it's one kilogram and 200 grams. Okay. So we're going to go to the next one and look very carefully at the amount of intervals that are in between two kilograms and three kilograms. And I would like you to find for me what is measured by the arrow, what mass is measured by the arrow. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so hopefully you've all had a go at that, and we're going to have a look. Now, if we look at the one before, we have one kilogram and two kilograms. So the difference there is one kilogram, and the difference here, again, is one kilogram. But we have a lot less intervals, okay? We have many, we have fewer intervals than we did over here. So we can conclude really that we know it's not going to be 100 grams again okay each interval is going to be 100 grams we'll try it out though so this be 2 kilogram and 100 2 kilogram 200 2 kilogram 300 2 kilogram 400 2 kilogram 5 no okay so we've just proved that it's not going to be going up in hundreds okay so we're going to need to try something else and i'm going to try going through 500 grams so therefore this one will be 2 kilogram 500 grams this one will be then be um 2 kilogram and 1,000 grams, or we would say 3 kilograms, because you'd have 3,000 grams, but we can see that 3 kilograms is over here, so we know it's not that, okay, so what about if I tried going up in 200s, so this would be 200, this would be 400, this would be 600, this would be 800, and then this would be 1,000. So, we know that this is correct because the difference in the numbers is one kilogram, okay? But remember, we know that one kilogram is the same as a thousand grams, okay? And as you can see, we've hit a thousand here, and so this works. So, the weight, the mass measured at the arrow is two kilograms and 800 grams, okay? So keep using the work that we used yesterday to help you. Okay, and there aren't many practice questions today. There's just one more. Okay, now this one's a bit more difficult. Okay, so when you pause this video, have a look. Okay, and think what think what you'll need to do. Okay, so pause the video and have a go. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go at this question. Okay, now the difference between the end point, the start point, and the end point is again one kilogram, and this number line looks suspiciously similar to the first one we did. Okay, it looks suspiciously similar where the intervals went up in 100 grams. So I'm going to try that again. Okay, I'm going to use the knowledge that I used before to see if that works. 
So this would be 100 grams, 4 kilogram and 100 grams, 4 kilogram and 200 grams, 4 kilogram and 300, 4 kilograms and 400, 4 kilograms and 500, 4 kilograms and 600, 4 kilograms and 700, 4 kilograms and 800, 4 kilograms and 900, and if you add 100 grams to 4 kilograms and 900, you would reach 5 kilograms. So we know that our intervals are correct. Okay, remember I go all the way across the number line, okay, even though we only have to go to here, just to make sure that I know my number line works. Now this question is more difficult because our arrow is pointing in the middle of an intersection. Okay, so we need to figure out what number is directly in between 400 and 500. And hopefully we should know that that number would be 450. So the mass wet measured at this point here is going to be 4 kilograms and 450 grams. Okay, so it's a short video today. Okay, uh, Friday, the weekend, go out and smash this lesson and have a great weekend. Okay, so I hope this helped. Bye, guys.